Hello everyone and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight vs HD. Last time, we got this tunic, this sword, and this shield, and this telescope. Arrow got kidnapped by a big bird, and now we're gonna go and... Oh wait. He said, are you gonna get splinters and cry for that shield? Not just yet. Hurry up. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here first, in this boat, because, uh... I'm, not, I'm probably gonna spend 20 rupees on one place, because, uh, this thing's probably gonna cost that much. So, let's drop right in here right quick. <gasps> yeah, here we go. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. You have anything you don't need? If you do, just show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Yes, I want to buy this. Yep, 20 rupees in one place. We got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Press, yeah, see what's inside. Shop. Is because we have one point saved. You try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. <laughs> Let's get one of these. Might as well. Got all purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to the gourmet pet food the moment you put it down. Yeah, we know how to use items. Two points saved up. Bye. Okay. Now, we talk to them. Tetra. We don't need to talk to anybody else. We can talk to him later. And even and I even did go back and talk to uh, what's his name again? Orca, and try to tell him about it. Are you sure you're ready to do this? Because we don't have time to play little kitty games with you. Got it? Good. Then let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. So I went back to talk to him, and uh, he actually didn't say anything. Link didn't say anything about it. So uh, yeah. I'm not gonna worry about it. Cause then later on. When you come back, you talk to him. He says, "Why didn't you tell me about it? That was not. That was. That wasn't very thoughtful of you." And and I'm like, "Man, I tried to tell you, but you only wanted to train with the sword. So it doesn't matter. You can talk to anybody. It won't matter." And as you can see, he's not right there. So yeah, he doesn't know. Good luck finding Arrow. Take care of yourself. Oh, it's so sad. It's sad. Oh, how much longer do you think this is going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure we shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you, I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? I'm gonna do what I have to do, Tetra, and you ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna go to this island. Well, no, I'm not gonna go to that island. I will return there. I will return to Outset Victorious! Yep. Any of you Kid Icarus fans, you'll know exactly what I mean. We can talk to everybody. Hmm, that Nico didn't make it out half bad. Will you be in the new Swabby and all? New Suave's always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you, it sure sounded like Nico was happy to finally not be on the bottom rung of the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine as long as you don't disobey him. Yeah, well, let's go talk to Nico. That's what Tetra would tell us to do if I had remembered to talk to her, but I didn't. So we're just gonna head down here. That guy's not gonna let us into Tetra's room. So we're just gonna come in here. Ah, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right now, first off, you have to take... Sorry, I can't. I'm having trouble. You have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy Swabby brain. Hold on. First off, you gotta press the switch. It's the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt L to step on it. Press the switch pressed. Just like that, those platforms rise. Now check it out, after the platforms rise up, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. But the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. I think it'd be funny if he missed and 
It'd be, it'd just be funny. If you jump on right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use L to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump to it. So do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get over there by the time they drop, then you have to start over. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a good try. This ought to be good for a chuckler too. Yeah. Well, first off, we're going to press the switch to reset the time to do it. Just as a safety measure. They stay up for a good while, you probably wouldn't have to do it. I just, just want to be careful about it. So... Just do what he said, jump to the platform. Pretty simple. Come on. Boom, did it. What? You did it already? I I'm proud to have you as my underling. I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Okay, I will. Um, what's in here? This is whatever Zelda fan waits for with the new game. You need to just, just to see what is beyond the light in the chest. You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight kinds of items for Y, X, or R on the item screen to see what's inside. Hey, Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. Okay. It's good to be playing a Zelda game again thoroughly. Tried to do Twilight Princess on my free time, but, uh, like I said, the disc messed up. So, if I get the Wii U version, or if better yet, a version comes to the Switch, that would be awesome. Get, get beyond the door. I wouldn't. A lot of people say they would like to get rid of their Wii U if Twilight, or not everyone says this, but one guy that I follow or subscribe to on YouTube says that, hey Link, here I am up here. He says that he, if Twilight Princess and Wind Wicker comes to the Switch, he will smash his Wii U on camera live. But I'm not going to do that because I still got Wii games that I like to play every now and then. And one that I might do a walkthrough of soon after. Soon. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. It's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be a hideout of a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look! Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I bet you anything that's the place where they got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Uh oh. She's got something. That's crazy how yeah, fast that was. Link didn't even notice. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everyone ready? Yes, ma'am. Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. Fire away.
Forsaken Fortress. You sword landing all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was a bit off. The look on your face, priceless. I can see that if it was in my pocket. I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through the stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you want, if you see A, you better press that button. I put the stone in your quest status screen. Use arrow on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. Understand? Alright then, down to brass tactics. The courtyard is a watch with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Yeah. So as I was saying, I'm not going to do that in my Wii U, because uh, it's easy for doing it. But I admit that uh, if Twilight Princess and Wind Waker came to the Switch, then I wouldn't have a lot of reasons to keep it around. Because uh, I've also got this other Wii that I use for doing GameCube games. I know I haven't got many, but I did a few Twilight... No, not Twilight. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask videos there. But, um... I never went too thorough. And... Well, I just might get more thorough in another video series. But it will be a while because... Later this year, a bunch of nice titles are coming out that I plan to do. Like, first and foremost, Fire Emblem Three Houses. And then, uh... Maybe Astral Chain... If it gets a rating of T, which I hope it does, because it looks very cool. So, uh, we can only hope, because this is first and foremost family-friendly channel. So, if it got the M rating, I would not do it. I don't think it will. We got high hopes for it. And so, yeah, I don't want to get rid of my Wii U, because it's just so simple to play Wii games on it. But, yeah. What am I trying to say? Just useless rambling. I'm not. What I'm trying to say is. I like its backwards compatibility with Wii games. That's what I'm trying to say. But, uh. If I can play Wii games on that Wii and not have to need a Wii U, I guess there wouldn't be much of it. It all depends on if Twilight Princess and Wind Waker come to the Switch. Like everyone is thinking it will which it probably will I hope it will because I know because uh I'd like to have my favorite Zelda game on switch that being Twilight Princess okay but enough about that let's uh, get into this fortress before we just speed through it like we could do oh crap mouse there are a couple of treasure chests I want to get first so I will be doing that I can make it and here's one of them it's nothing too special stay to the edge or that thing will shoot you with its lasers yeah. yellow ruby okay so now we're gonna climb this ladder Oh yeah, and we gotta take out the spotlights. Almost forgot about that. Because we can't because one of the spotlight beams is shining directly on the ledge that we'll need to traverse to get to the top. And we don't want that. We don't want one of them to see us, because if we do if they do, we'll instantly get thrown into jail. Is it another is it nothing there? Nothing there, that's not the right way. Let me look here. Okay, right in this room is... Once say it's the next part. Like... Yeah, this is the room that I wasn't gonna get up. That is the door that we need to go. But like I said, I wanna get these treasure chests. If they see you, you have like a, like, if they see the barrel move, you'll have like a split second to put down, so, you just need to be careful. But this mouse, on the other hand, I don't want him to mess me up, 
because they will they know they're not fooled these mice are way smarter than these guards so you need to be careful but if he just keeps falling off the edge like that that'd be fine okay man just don't mind me I'm going I'm going I'm going this guy's problem and the darn bat I don't remember the bats being here yet I thought they uh what if it's a mess up I doubt it or maybe it just never maybe it just never been down there like that <laughs> crap okay don't need that bat to be messing with us Okay, buddy. Just ignore the barrel. Ignore the barrel. Just a barrel not to see here. Alright, let's go. There is... No ladders here to get to the thing... Where is that treasure chest? Oh crap. Well, not too big a deal. Okay, I know, I think there is one here. You may wonder why there is no mobile in here. Well, that is because right in here. Well, there's supposed to be these little monsters here. This is weird. They would usually showed up by now. Well, I'm not complaining, but, uh, we're gonna get this treasure chest, and I believe there's two more to get. That's the compass. We can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. So, yeah. Let me look, let's, uh, look at the map here. If there's one, we haven't been there yet, and on the first floor, another one. So, yeah, we're heading the right way. Right up here is a pathway that I believe nope that's not the one yet it's that one up there but we have to get over there to do that the Tetris is gonna tell us about how to fight this guy I know how to fight this guy so I'm not gonna stop and talk Tetra so just you're gonna use these sticks well I'd like to just throw the pot at him when, it, when I can't, if that little cutscene didn't take a place, I would just instantly throw it at him and just not give him time to breathe okay, like that. So just pick up a stick, beat him to death with it. And he's down. You don't have to worry about this spotlight anymore because they're pointed at the sky. They don't let you cheat like that, but uh, Wish they did. It would have been so much easier. We don't have to really worry about that one. But I might do it anyway. Because I like it. It's fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, and here is the next treasure chest. And right down there is the other treasure chest. But we'll have to sacrifice having the high ground to get the dungeon map now we can see the whole map that's well, well worth it you're gonna want to collect as many of these things as you can just go over here press the switch and here is a special treasure chest piece of heart okay And here is the Moblin. So, or actually two of them. So just same routine. Turtle your way past them in the barrel. You could take a barrel in there and go and throw it at them when they're not looking, but it doesn't work because they don't fall over like they usually do. And they just instantly know you're there no matter what. It's nerve-wracking, especially if you do this. 
shit. It's kind of funny, though. Just go on, man. Just go. Go. That can't really move well because that guy's looking. He should go off. The f this one who's not facing us should go off to the left. Yeah, see, now is. Whoa. So, let's just go this way. Turtle away, just turtle away. Don't look, fella. Come on. Okay, now let's just skedaddle. Yeah, here they are. Okay, so. Just get up ladder, you can't hurt them right now because we don't have a sword. And there's nothing around to throw. And yeah, they will try to get you. They're annoying. Very annoying. Okay. So, let me go out here. Or is, no, I think it's out here actually. Where the next, where the crucial spotlight is. Yeah, this is it. I believe. No, I don't think it is. One sec, please. I know what you're gonna say, Tetra. I f figured out myself. Yeah, this isn't the crucial spotlight, but might as well take it out. Just do that. Just clobbering. We need to get over there. So, yeah, we can just jump down here, head through this door, and on the other door is the spotlight. Red Slatter. Okay, we'll talk to you. Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. Yeah, I've already fought two of them. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut down the searchlight. But you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. Why are you trying to use my shield to deflect the monster's balls to see if it can make a drop weapon? But that's just me. What will you do? Well, yeah, you could do that, but... <sighs> Get up the ladder. You could do that. But... There's, a, there's no pot. Well, let's just demonstrate. Come on. Yep, yeah, he dropped the weapon. You'll later find them wielding machetes, but for some reason they will not drop it. Just keep nailing him. Oh, wait. Come on over here. Come on over here. Okay, you're not coming over here. I just have to get the stick. To die. Okay, now the searchlight that was shining on that wall is no longer shining on that wall. So we can just head on up. Let's get to going. Yep, here we go. The main facility. Or it's not a facility, it's the main room. I'm gonna call this the main room because it is the biggest one. Barrel. 
you could try, but I don't know if you can actually might be able to just ignore the barrel. Or just ignore it, yeah, if you just do it at the right time, you don't even need the barrel. But this one, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. Because, so, to prevent from having to come all the way back, I'm just going to use the barrel. Not even try to get through like that. Oh, crap. Okay. So, we just move far as we can. Maybe you can just ignore him, but I'm not sure. Keep moving. I, that was fun. Okay. I love cutting corners when I can. It's awesome. So yeah, you could probably have even got through that without using the barrel. But for those narrow hallways, you probably can't get through without the barrel. Just gonna ease our way over. And here's our first recovery hearts. And there we go. And there's the sword. Yay, what could possibly go wrong? That could go wrong. Not too worried, we didn't need to go back anyway, so let's just ignore this guy, pick up the sword again, and just fight him. You can pick up his machete if you want. Probably best mini boss battle music, only rivaled by Majora's Mask. So, yeah, you just take out the guy. I like to take my time, like I said in the last episode. So I wanted to do the parry there just because I could. So now we can continue. Can we? We can't take this with us, but it's. But we don't need it. We got a nice sword. Yeah. Here is the interior. Uh oh. Helm Rock King. Yikes, that sounded painful. She's not happy. Out of the head. Link, wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. 
Did I startle you? I suppose it is only natural. As wide as this world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods. Attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon. The emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what, where you should, what you should do, where you should go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I understand. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you to the far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this to you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, this is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Okay. So, in the next episode, we are going to go and look for the sail that the King of Red Lion wants, you, wants us to get. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD.